Hi, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. Today, I want to talk about the hideout grips from Precision Gun Specialties. Now, a few years ago, my uh, late friend, Mr. Holster, aka Scott Thorfinson, had sent me a Chief Special, not this one, with uh, these grips from Precision Specialties. And these grips are really great for a J-frame revolver because number one, they have the finger grooves, but they've also got that little pinky groove right there. And anyone who's uh, bought a recent J-frame from Smith & Wesson knows that they have the boot grip and there's nothing there to uh, grip that bottom finger. And it makes a big difference in how well you shoot. Now the Chief Special that Mr. Holster gave me, I still have. I put the uh, Altamont Batalure grips on, which I, I prefer a lot. But see, these are much less expensive. You know, the Altamont grips are gonna run around $70 or more, whereas these are only $20. Now the hideout grips eventually made its way to my Airweight J-frame, which made it very easy to conceal. Problem was, when I got Carlita here, I wanted to put the grips on Carlita. And uh, this made this gun much easier and better to shoot. Also to conceal. So I put the old boot grips back on the air weight and it's like, uh, you know, I couldn't hit as accurately as I wanted to. So I went ahead and I ordered another set of these grips, but I got to looking and they had grips for the Ruger SP-101. They also had K-frame grips. Now I was very interested in trying the hideout grips on my Ruger SP-101 because when I bought this gun second hand, it had a set of Packmire grips. And one of the problems with the, these grips is it tended to push my finger against the trigger guard, which was very painful. The other problem with these grips, the Packmire grips, was that even though I was using the aim point, the grips were causing me to shoot low. And I had to overcompensate by raising the barrel and raising the sights, which doesn't necessarily make for good target acquisition. So why not? I thought I would try those. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And for uh, $20, I think this was a pretty good buy. Now the other set I got for old Chief Rolling Thunder here, the Model 66 Smith & Wesson. So let's shoot these and let's talk about how well they work.
Well, as you can see, not my best shooting. I had some outliers. Hey, I plead lack of practice due to the ammo shortage. And believe it or not, I was shooting Wolf Steel Case 38 Special. Now, this isn't bad practice ammo, but it does stick in the cylinders when you try to eject. In fact, I was told that Wolf's not going to be marketing these in the United States until they can work that, that issue out. So what's the verdict here? Well, these are nice looking grips. They make great concealment grips. That's why they're called hideaway grips. Uh, I believe in time that uh, I'll do better with the Ruger. One thing uh, with the 357, it does with the recoil, it does tend to bite into the web of the hand. It would be better if the grips maybe came out just a little bit to protect. But hey, that's a small thing. And uh, as far as uh, Chief Rolling Thunder, they worked very well on this gun. Uh, they look good on this gun. But being the Chief, we might have to give him a different war bonnet. Well, being the chief, he needs some bling. And what I have are the new style service panels with, that are laminated. And uh, I have a very hard to get Tyler T. I think this uh, dresses the old boy up uh, very well. And this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness reminding you to go out and stay safe.